While global navies are clamoring for the revolutionary technology of one pit, four bombs, why has the Chinese Navy remained puzzlingly silent? What are the strategic considerations behind the fact that this black technology, which seems to be able to greatly enhance the air defense density of warships, has not found a trace in the modernization of the PLA surface fleet? As one of the most highly regarded innovations in the field of naval equipment in the 21st century, the one pit, four bombs technology, can theoretically quadruple the density of a battleship's anti-aircraft firepower by integrating four missiles into a single vertical launch unit. This seductive technological prospect has led naval powers such as the United States, Europe and South Korea to invest in research and development. At the 2022 Zhuhai Air Show, China's military industrial enterprises also displayed the foreign trade model FM3000 and air defense missile system proving that they have fully mastered this technology. However, it is puzzling. From the 052D type destroyer to the most up-to-date 055 type 10,000 tons of large drive, the Chinese Navy's main ship has always continued with the Red Flag 9 long-range anti-aircraft missiles and Red Flag 16 medium-range anti-aircraft missiles combination of configuration. For the international popularity of the fashionable technology, seems to be ignored. Behind this anomaly, reflecting the Chinese Navy's unique understanding of modern naval warfare. When national navies indulge in a pit of four bombs to bring the firepower density increase, China's military industrial team soberly recognized the fatal weakness of this technology. Europe's Aster-15 missile, for example, although the nominal range of 30 kilometers, but in the interception of sea-skimming anti-ship missiles, the effective range plummeted to 15 kilometers which reveals the small size of the missile and the fuel carrying capacity and the end of the maneuverability of the congenital deficiencies the u.s improved sea sparrow although slightly better in size but in the red sea escort operations in the face of swarming attacks are still overstretched and had to frequently use the standard two such medium and long distance missiles in case of emergency the performance of such combat undoubtedly blindly pursuing the pit of four bombs Frenzy poured pots of cold water. The Chinese Navy's choice reflects the pragmatic pursuit of equipment effectiveness. The Red Flag 16FE missile extends its range to 160 kilometers, a figure that not only exceeds that of the European Aster 30, but also approaches the operational performance of the later version of the US Standard 2. Together with the Red Flag 9B long range missile with a range of 260 kilometers, the Chinese fleet has built up a three-dimensional air defense system from short range to long range and from low altitude to high altitude. This configuration, although the sacrifice of the number of missiles per unit of vertical launch unit, but in exchange for a longer intercepting distance and stronger terminal surprise defense capability in the anti-ship missiles generally exceed the speed of Mach 3, the attack distance of more than 200 kilometers today. This choice is obviously more strategic vision. It is interesting to note that Japan's latest development of the 23-type air defense missile system abandoned the PIT-4 bombs design instead of a single bomb configuration similar to China's Red Flag 16. A subtle shift confirms the scientific nature of China's naval development line. While navies in the Yemeni waters are tired of dealing with healthy drone attacks, Chinese fleet designers have already set their sights on a bigger picture of the battlefield. In a possible high-intensity confrontation in the Western Pacific, facing the multi-dimensional strikes of stealth fighters, supersonic anti-ship missiles and ballistic missiles, the limited range and kinetic energy reserves of the one pit, four bombs system will put it in a passive dilemma. Whereas China's current air defense system is able to build a multi-layer interception network based on its long-range advantage. China's military industrial team's prudent choice of technology is essentially a precise prediction of the evolution of naval warfare. When the U.S. Navy invested heavily in the concept of distributed kill chain, China realized that the core of future naval warfare is still system confrontation. 055-type destroyers equipped with integrated radio frequency system and over-the-horizon radar, together with the combination of anti-aircraft missiles with a range of 2260 kilometers to build up a complete combat system from sensors to the kill chain. Under the guidance of this systematic thinking, the pure pursuit of the number of vertical launch unit missiles, a pit of four bombs, technology, naturally difficult to enter the Chinese Navy's equipment sequence. In-depth study of the roots of this strategic strength, 
can be traced back to the Chinese characteristics of the equipment research and development mechanism. Unlike the procurement model dominated by some countries' military branches, China's military industrial system has always adhered to the principle of demand-driven, technology-driven. The combat experience accumulated in the South China Sea rights protection, ocean convoys and other diversified tasks so that the equipment research and development is always close to the operational needs. When some national navies are confused by technical gimmicks, the Chinese navy has maintained a rare sobriety, rather than in the drogue unit stuffed with four unattainable missiles. Rather than focusing on improving the combat effectiveness of a single missile, this pragmatic style in recent years in the development of naval equipment embodied in the fullest 50 TA destroyer 64 units of universal patat system, both compatible with anti-ship, anti-aircraft, anti-submarine and other munitions, but also for future upgrades to leave plenty of space. 055 Type 10,000 tons of large drive is the pioneering realization of the hot and cold common launch, the adaptability of the equipment to a new height. In contrast, the one pit, four bombs technology can briefly improve the paper data, but may restrict the development of missile performance. This potential risk is obviously not in line with the long-term planning of the Chinese Navy. From a deeper perspective, the Chinese Navy's calm attitude toward the one pit, four bombs, technology reflects the strategic self-confidence brought about by the advantage of latecomers. When the pioneers in the technology exploration to pay the cost of trial and error, China's military industry can objectively assess the advantages and disadvantages of various technical routes. This leapfrog development thinking, so that China's naval equipment construction has successfully avoided a number of flashy technology traps, just as the electromagnetic gun technology from the limelight to quietly dismantle the dramatic turnaround revealed. The real value of the equipment is always determined by the effectiveness of the actual combat rather than technical gimmicks. Standing on the defense line of the sea border in the new era, the Chinese Navy's choice gives a clear answer, not blindly following the trend, not pursuing fame, always taking the battlefield needs as the fundamental guide. This kind of development concept rooted in the actual combat-oriented thinking is writing a chapter of naval modernization with unique Chinese characteristics. When some countries are still arguing over the number of drogue units, the Chinese fleet's deep blue trajectory has already crossed the fog of technology worship and broken the waves towards the new direction of systematic victory.